and my god, they were good. The, the jump scares were good. I think this is what a horror needs to do sometimes. <laughs> Why, hello there YouTube and welcome back to another episode of 31. So, we are now on day 23 and for that we're in 2012 and for that one I am reviewing the film Sinister. So, this is a 2012 supernatural horror uh, where um, a crime writer named Ellison, played by Ethan Hawke, uh, moves into a new house, uh, only to not tell his family that a murder happened outside the house in the garden, and he finds this, you know, this Super 8 with a reel in it and plays it, and then starts to do research for his next book because uh, he's a bit down on his luck, he's not made uh, as much money because he had one successful book and he plans to write another one and when he watches these reels he finds that they are snuff films of, the, of families being murdered including the family that lived there before them. He then goes into research with this strange being that appears in there called Bagul and Bagul, he is this ancient demon and he finds out that he, they collect salt, they collect children and starts to play and befriend his daughter and then him and his wife decide to move away from the new house and go back to their old house not, you know, failing to take into account the last bit of the Bagul's ritual that the people that lived there before were murdered and they moved from a house that they lived in and before them another murder of their family happened. Basically what happens is if the family, if when one child is chosen by Bagul and someone's watched the reel, they then get killed under Bagul's control and then he leaves the Super 8 for, some, for the next homeowners to find and when they watch them and they find it's not safe anymore they move to another house and the same thing happens again and that's exactly what happens to Ethan Hawke and his family so let's get on to my likes and dislikes first of all I like this film I really really did it was a great horror film this film I remember going to see this in cinemas and I remember being on the edge of my seat the whole time dreading the next jump scare because there were a ton of jump scares I mean like when I was dreading every second when there was a jump scare coming and my god, they were good. The, the jump scares were good. I think this is what a horror needs to do sometimes. It needs to be scared, unexpected, and make you jump. Of course, that was the first time round. The rest of the time, I got, I was like, I saw it coming and I wasn't as jumpy or, in fact, I didn't find it jumpy at all. They did do a sequel to this Sinister 2, but that just failed to catch the magic of this one that I'm reviewing. And I didn't really jump all at that time because I probably pretty much knew what were coming. Uh, we also get another character in this play by, uh, called Deputy So-and-So, played by uh, the guy who played the old... Um, is it? No, it's not Richie. Uh, is it? It's not John. Benji, who plays the old Benji in It Chapter 2. Um, and uh, he was a good support in this. <coughs> uh, we also got Vincent D'Onofrio as well, uh, appearing in this as a professor that he skyped and did research on this demon so I liked his role in it too. Um, 
yeah, I thought this was a nicely done horror. It was nicely paced, and it had me like you know sometimes like looking away because I was dreading the next jump scare. And the jump scares were good. Even at the end, they gave us one final jump scare that for some reason I didn't see coming. And I loved the whole twist and everything that it had. And Bagul, well, I can see why they called the film sinister, because he really does look sinister in this. And the guy who played him, whatever his name is, he was, you know, he did a great perform, a great job playing the character. And I find Bagul is a bit of an underrated horror character. I mean, he was the only good thing about Sinister 2, really, but uh, it's a shame that, you know, I, I think this film works as a one-off, you know? I mean, they clearly tried to make it into a franchise, but it didn't work, and I think they should not make any more Sinister. Maybe if they made a third one, then round it as a trilogy, fine, but don't turn it into a cash cow, uh, or make it for the sake of it, uh, you know? But I'd have been happy if it just had this one, but it has a, a not so brilliant sequel but uh, this one the, is the best and I can't get enough of it I enjoy this one a lot it's just you know really dark and gothic and creepy and unsettling and sinister and I recommend you check this one if you love jump scares or you want to get scared for the fun of it I will say if you have a heart condition maybe not but still a great horror and I enjoyed it over the years, though, that I've re-watched it, though, I haven't found it jumpy or scary, but I still find it a good film. So, uh, my ratings, you know what, sinister for me, I'm giving it five machetes out of five, because, like I say, it's a good horror. Making me jump the first time, a little bit the second time, but now I'm desensitised to it all, but it's still a great one. And I found this on Netflix, it's on UK Netflix, I think. I watched it a couple months ago on that, but uh, still, I remember the film and it is great. Ethan Hawke did a great job in this movie, uh, leading it, and yeah, I, I thought his character was a, was smart, but not, but like, thought, uh, didn't do his full research on Bagul, and in the end, this is a movie where evil wins, so yeah. Um, so yeah, that's it for today's review, day 23, and it was on Sinister. So join me tomorrow uh, where I'll review another horror from uh, Mike Flanagan, I think it is. Did he do it? I I'll look because I, I need to prep myself for this for the before I go uh, review it. So yeah, um, that's it for today. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share with your friends. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. No pressure, but feel free to do so if you want to see more from me. I'm uploading every day throughout October, 11 a.m. British Standard Time, so you can watch all this series so far on the channel. So yeah, like I said, I will see you tomorrow, and until next time, don't have nightmares.